Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you all my contacts dashboard inside of Notion. And it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you all a template that I created inside of Notion to keep track of my contacts and everything related to my contacts. So I wanted to kind of create a CRM kind of dashboard for my contacts where I can keep track of, you know, the address and their phone number and normal stuff like that. And you're like, well, why don't I just do that in my phone? Yeah, but I also want to kind of use this dashboard with my normal um, Notion dashboard that I use for for everything. It's like my personal dashboard, but I have this contacts dashboard inside of my personal dashboard that hooks to my actions, my projects and stuff like that. And the cool thing about the contacts here is that not only does it have your name and phone number that you normally have in your phone, but you can also keep track of um, your communication with the uh, whatever uh, contact that was. Like say, for instance, you have a contact with a business or whatever. Um, maybe you uh, have Comcast cable and you want to keep track of a log of your conversations with them concerning your internet provider or your cable provider or what have you. You have a nice little dashboard here that you can keep track of all your contacts and any kind of correspondence that you have with them. So as you see here on this dashboard that I have, I have a gallery view and then I have a master database view. And so if you look here at the gallery view, which is normally where I have it, you'll see that this is a linked database. The actual database is located in the system database area. And you'll see that it has a communication log database, a contacts database, and a to-do item databases. Okay. Typically, you would not use these, but you can move these around to other parts of your uh, workspace inside of Notion, and it will still link there to it. But if you don't really care about moving them, just keep them right here on the same uh, dashboard. And uh, I just usually keep them closed because I just interact with this section here. Okay. So if you see here, um, I'll just go ahead and click on this animal clinic one. So this is just a demo account. So this is just uh, some demo stuff that I put in here. Um, but this is what it looks like. And let me go ahead and expand that open here real quick. So when you see, this is what you're going to get here uh, as your contact for this animal clinic that I just clicked on, right? And you see, I have more properties here. So I've got 24 more properties and it's got pretty much any kind of property that you want in here for uh, keeping track of your contact in relation to uh, each contact, okay? So down here you have a section for your to-do items, okay? And then you also have a section for your communication, okay? Back to the contacts dashboard here. Um, you can filter it here, but I would typically leave these, uh, leave these alone if you want. Um, and then you have a sort here and I just have it, uh, you know, in ascending order by name. Okay. Over here in the three dot section, I also have certain, uh, fields checked off that show up in the gallery here. Okay. And then you can also select other ones that you want to show up in the gallery view. Now back to the actual, uh, item here. If you look, you see I got personal, so contact is personal. Maybe you want to have it as a vendor. Maybe you want to have it as a business. You can change these if, if you want, depending on uh, uh, what's appropriate for you. I also have it tagged as a veterinarian. Maybe you want to uh, use that tag elsewhere in your, um, in your databases uh, for whatever you want to uh, point to, right? So you got uh, in here, when you expand the properties, you got the primary contact, you got the secondary contact, you got first email, second email, you got office phone number, mobile phone number, other phone, right? You got fax, websites, 
that you might want to link to, uh, Google Map location, Facebook, all of these um, areas that you can fill out in the properties, GPS location, guide documents, first connected. You can also check it off to that you maybe want to archive it, but you want to keep all the information. Maybe you're not doing business with that company anymore or what have you, but you want to keep all that just in case you need to reference it in the future. You can just archive it and it'll come out of that uh, section and into an archive section. Okay. Um, you also can relate it to another contact if you want. Uh, you can also put notes in here, receipts, files, and media, what have you. Okay. Now, one cool thing about this um, is that not only does this uh, contact um, template come with the contact database, but it also comes with a, a simple to-do uh, item database as well as a communication log database. So like for instance, if you wanted to create a new communication log in relation to this animal clinic, you can just hit on new. You want to type in whatever the communication was, you know, talked with, well, if I can spell with that. Sorry, concerning kitty. Okay, and then you can put the date there, right? And then you can put the uh, method of contact. And then who did you speak with? Okay, and then down here, you can just put any other information in relation to that if you want. Or if you don't want to, just hit that. And now it's right there. And you see how this is? And because I have this filter set to Animal Clinic, it's not going to show any of the communication logs from any other contact. It's just only going to show it with this contact. And to show you what I mean is, when I go back here to the contacts dashboard, so when I go into this dashboard here for this animal kennel, I can um, look down here in the communication log and you see it's not there for it because it has a filter for it. And, you know, another cool thing here is over here in this um, thing here, for the templates, I have a new contact template here. If you just click on that, you want to create you a new contact. Maybe you want to create a, a contact for uh, Comcast, right? You can go ahead and put that in there. Contact type, business. Maybe you want to put who the person is you spoke to, their phone number right there, right? Now, when you do that, it's going to automatically put in the name of that contact down here in the communication log as well as for your uh, filters for your action items for this contact. See how that's done? It's pretty pretty uh, easy to uh, navigate through all of this. And then of course, like always, you can always then go and put an icon there if you want and put a cover page if you want, okay? Now over here in the master database view, you have a pretty simple setup. It's still filtered here with uh, archived unchecked and it's still got a, a sort section, right? Um, but this is in a nice little table view in case um, you want to kind of just a quick glance at it. Um, another thing you can do is, let's say you have a ton of contacts in here, you can always go to the magnifying glass and search for the contact by that uh, name and everything. But uh, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you all in this uh little demo of this uh, template that I created. Now I am selling this template for $10. And if you want to uh, support this channel, uh, please head on over there to Gumroad. I'll have a little link down there in the description uh, that you can click on and it takes you right there to Gumroad and you can purchase the templates there. And, um, but that's really all I got for you all today. I uh, hope you all enjoy this episode. And like always, if you do and you have any questions, make sure you ask me right down there in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like uh, button. And you want to see more of these videos in the future, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.